Welcome back to White Mountains Today. We are in the studio once more for another very special interview. I am joined by some great people right now. Uh, from Purity Spring Resort, I'm here with Allie Moore. Thanks for joining us Thanks th for having me. this morning. And also the Holt family. We've got uh, Doug, Faith, probably the happiest girl in the Mount Washington Valley right now with the biggest smile, <laughs> and, uh, and her brother Cody all joining us on set. We're going to talk about uh, an event coming up called Cynthia's Challenge. Uh, Allie, you are uh, from Purity Spring Resort, and this is, I believe, the fourth annual Cynthia Challenge. Can you tell me a little bit about how this event came about in the first place? Sure. So Cynthia's Challenge began four years ago, and it was Cynthia Verrill who needed a service dog, and uh, the owner of King Pine, Bob Hoyt, came out and said, you know, I want to help you, anything we can do. And we put together a 24-hour ski-a-thon at King Pine and raised over $35,000 for Cynthia that year. Wow. And the family wanted to pay it forward. So every year we've been able to be so generously supported by the community, by the skiers. And this year we're lucky to be you know, trying to do it all over again and raise $65,000 for Faith, yep. for Doug, for Cody to uh, purchase a wheelchair accessible van. All right, so I understand you do this by application, so families submit their story and you select one person to be the recipient of the Cynthia's Challenge benefit. And uh, Doug, why don't you tell me a little bit about Faith and her story? Well, uh, Faith was born at 31 weeks. Uh, wow. She spent 100 days in the NIC unit. Um, she has uh, skeletal dysplasia, bone deformity. Um, she has a lot of seizures. Um, so we require the wheelchair to get around for her to be safe. Um, but she's a sixth grader at Crescent Lake School, and that school is awesome. Mm. They have really rallied behind us, and uh, James Riley, the principal, is just an awesome guy. And we have her school aide actually behind the scenes Facebooking us live this yep. morning. So is it the King Pine Facebook page? Uh, this is the Cynthia's Challenge Facebook page. So find Cynthia's Challenge on Facebook. You can see a live stream of this interview kind of behind the scenes right now. Um, so tell me a little bit about what it's like, you know, day to day with Faith. What are some of her, her, her struggles and her special needs that are going to be uh, hopefully helped but with Cynthia's Challenge? Well, um, she's uh, requires round the clock care. She can't be left alone. Yep. Um, you know, dressing, changing, bathing, everything is, I mean, as if you were taking care of a, a two year old child. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she is uh, 12, you know, even though her stature is of a, a six or seven year old, but that's the, the skeletal dysplasia. Mm. But uh, the wheelchair, uh, the van was just, it'll be, uh, you know, because my back is gone. So there's a lot of lifting involved, getting in and out of the van, getting the wheelchair in and out, out of our van. And yep. um, so, yes, life would be so much easier. All right. And uh, Cody is standing by, um, the, uh, Faith's brother. Um, what does this mean to you? What, what do you think about this event coming up? What a great way to help your sister. I think this is um, a good event. And I think this would really help with my dad and his back and all. Mm. And also, the, it'd be easier to put the van in, I mean, not the wheelchair into the van and and not have, having to spend a lot of time to fold up the wheelchair and get it into the van. And right. What do you think about your sister? I'm looking at her today and I see some of the, just the most purest smile that I've ever seen before. And you can see as soon as I say that, she's got the big smile going and just bright eyes. She's having a good time this morning. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, We're so excited to have you on. So how does Cynthia's Challenge work? How will people be raising money? So uh, March 17th through the 18th, we have a 24-hour ski-a-thon at King Pine Ski Area. You can go to kingpine.com or cynthiaschallenge.org for more information. But it's a $99 lift ticket. Uh, with that, it includes your breakfast, lunch, dinner, 24 hours of skiing, these awesome t-shirts that they have on right now. Um, we have snacks throughout the night. We'll have a uh, bonfire and fireworks sponsored by Atlas Fireworks and Bank of New Hampshire wow. on Friday night, so that's the 17th. Um, we're gonna have the Mountain Dew Vertical Challenge there throughout the night. They're gonna throw this big party. Bolt Depot has jumped in and said they want to do games every hour throughout the night. We're gonna have a 2 a.m. ice cream sundae. I mean, you name it, 
we've got something going on each hour. Wow. So it's this big party atmosphere. You don't have to ski 24 hours. We just, you know, we <laughs> <laughs> we recommend it because it's a lot of fun. You know, <laughs> hey, get it. You've got an opportunity to ski for 24 hours. It'd be crazy not to get yeah. uh, bang for your buck, so to speak. I was at King Pine this past week, and with this new snow, it's just been phenomenal. It's incredible. Over four and a half feet of snow in wow. February alone. So conditions are going to be amazing for March. I mean, we're still midwinter here. Yep. And um, so with Cynthia's Challenge 2, um, a team of five, your fifth person is free. And kids eight and under are also free. We just ask that they go out and try and get sponsorships because 100% of your donations goes towards the whole family and wow. reaching that sixty-five thousand dollar goal. Wow. And this is an amazing, amazing contribution from the Hoyt family. It's one thing to say you're a family resort. It's another thing to uh, to do something like this, where you basically you know give your resort up for an incredible cause. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like a lot of fun, a great cause. People will be having fun and knowing that they're doing such a great thing. You mentioned uh, off air that we need like six hundred and something skiers to uh, make this. Just, yeah, just as a number, if. Uh, if we could get 650 skiers out that night, that would be our goal. And that, that, would, that would match our goal. That would be an easy way to raise the money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it would be quite the party with 650 oh. people out there oh, yeah. under the yeah. fireworks, skiing, hours. whooping, having fun. And uh, what a, a great cost. So come out, Cynthia's Challenge. It is March 17th through the 18th. It's a great fundraiser for faith. And how do people find more information or actually register? So you can go to kingpine.com. Uh, on the events calendar or go to CynthiasChallenge.org. The registration forms are right there. And, uh, you know, it's such a great cause and we couldn't be more thankful to everybody that has come out and supported it in the past. And, you know, we're looking forward to it again. If someone can't make that event, but maybe they're on vacation this week, they're skiing at King Pine with their family and they want to make a contribution, do mm -hmm. you guys have any way to do that? We do. So go to CynthiasChallenge.org and on that page you'll find a uh, e-commerce site through you caring and you can donate that way all right yeah. so fantastic have we missed anything anything you would like to add no we just <laughs> uh, other than can i get one more smile faith <laughs> there it is <laughs> all right well i guess uh thank you so much and we will see you at cynthia's challenge just about a month away now a little bit less yeah. than that yeah and uh, we'll be back more. We'll have to put a link on our website, too. Uh, go to White Mountain 